Alrighty, so uh, today I'm going to be talking about something I think that's still relevant. Um, you know, for context, uh, so I will say, I like I said earlier in the year, I'm budgeting, so not really hard on the collectibles so far. Um, more on the video game talk, just regular discussion videos. Um, you know, I know a lot of people have watched me for a long time strictly because of my collectible stuff and I know it can be hard, but it, you know I appreciate people sticking by because the collectibles are going to be a little bit less for now for this year, really, um, and it's going to be more like discussion videos and video game stuff. Um, I will say, I have the Yolo Park uh, Scourge coming at some point. I pre-ordered that shit in January. I don't know when it's coming. Um, the three zero three zero Optimus Primal coming. Third, fourth quarter of this year, and the three zero Nuka Cola T fifty one B power armor. So those things are coming, just not till the end of the year. And between that, I don't know if there'll be much, honestly. But I have plenty of old stuff. Like I have this Master Replica Sting. I never really went in depth with. So just bear with me. But you know, I want to diversify and do a bunch of things and just kind of put it all into one channel. Now I was thinking about making a ch second channel. That's like a food review channel. Um, because I do, you know, I'm on Google guides. I'm level seven out of 10. I think I review a lot of places in Oklahoma city, Oklahoma in general. Um, even when I go down to Dallas, sometimes I'll review this stuff. So I, you know, I just want to diversify what I'm doing. You know, I like doing a bunch of things. So that leads me into the topic of this video, which is why I feel TikTok is so important to small content creators, creators, whatever, you know, just people who want to be on social media. I don't know the right word for that, like myself. Um, you know, I hear the argument besides all the, you know, uh, China's spying on you. China, China, China's bad. Wah, wah, wah. You know, it's like we, we say that even though it's like, I mean... Let me, okay, here, I've got, I've got this skull. I bought this at a freaking redneck hillbilly gas station about an hour away from me. Okay, right next to this, let me, if I could find it, it was a bunch of shirts that say like, you know, yeah, America, fuck yeah, whatever. Made in China. We, you're telling me we couldn't fucking make that here? And the, literally the shirts, the shirts, I mean, I, we, my wife and I buy them as a goof. Made in China. Made in China. And so the audacity is just fucking unreal. Um, but, you know, and then just the argument like, oh, it's brain rot, blah, 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 by a congressman. It's like, okay, and yet you're like, Joe Biden is on TikTok. But he said, if you put it to my desk, I'll sign the ban. Okay. Um, and I, you know, I, I kind of spoke about this with my wife. I didn't really, it was like, whatever. But then... There were a couple thing YouTubers that I heard say something that just kind of set me off. And so I I have these, you know, two examples. I I wish I could find the clips. <sighs> One is a uh, YouTuber Penguin Zero, you know, obviously I think everyone knows him. Big YouTuber. He always makes these comments like, oh, yeah, you know, fuck it. Like, let them ban TikTok. I fucking hate TikTok. TikTok, you know, is your little brain rot. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm sitting here thinking, you know, have you actually used TikTok, like, thoroughly? Because I'm not going to deny that when you first sign up, it's a goddamn nightmare. And it's a goddamn mess. They do recommend a lot of, like, the shit brain rot videos that I fucking hate. But... Cause that's I downloaded that initially. I was like, oh, ugh, never mind. But then I was like, you know what? Okay, I am really like I'm trying to like grow my socials. So here's what I'll do: I'll just keep it up and see what happens. And so when those videos would come up, I would hold on it, click not interested, or I would be like block creator. Okay. And then I realized that you know I would post videos, collectibles, whatever, video game clips. I would put hashtag the game, PC gaming, collect me, whatever. And then I started seeing videos with those hashtags and it took a hot minute, but I kept doing, you know, not interested, not interested or TikTok sometimes would be like, what do you feel about this video? I'd be like, show me more when it's like collectible stuff. And now, I mean, 
It is a little weird though, but my on my phone, TikTok, the For You page is almost perfect. Like it shows me like cat videos, Legos, video games, model kits. Like that's basically what I want. Sometimes meme stuff, but, and then occasionally it'll be like the stupid, you know, bait, dancing videos, whatever. But really almost never. Now, weirdly enough, when I went on my desktop, my For You page is completely fucking different. And it's a lot of the like, you know, brain rot videos. So I don't know what's what's the what's going on there because I'm signing into my same account. So that's that is a little weird. I'll give you that. But you know, when I hear a big creator who's on YouTube say that, like, oh, it's brain rot. Oh, it should be banned. It's like, well, you clearly don't understand what it's like for people who are really wanting to try to like be on social media and grow and things and. I don't think he's ever said it because there's no way this would be hypocritical. But, you know, other people uh, on social media will be like, oh, well, don't be fucking boring or, you know, um, don't be low effort. You got to make, you know, soy jack fucking thumbnails like the or the, you know, fucking thumbnails. And it's like, I shouldn't have to. And, you know, what makes me laugh is people say that. And then you go look at a YouTuber like Penguin Zero. His thumbnails are literally just like fucking screenshot snippets. And his videos are just him sitting here like I am on a camera being like, hey, 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 you know, here's, you know, metaphor, 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 ha, 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 story of the day, I'm done. It's so simple. And yet it works, you know. Um, but when he, when a big creator like that says something like that, to me it just seems so out of touch. Where you, you're not taking into consideration like in the modern landscape, it's like, I mean, I truly believe that it's really tough to you know, grow on YouTube, but then on TikTok, I've grown a a lot quicker than I could have on, I've been on YouTube seven years. I've been on TikTok maybe two years and I have about double the follower count on TikTok and I could post, I know there's YouTube shorts. I don't really give a shit for YouTube shorts. Um, I can go on TikTok, post a video and it's, it will get about anywhere from three to 400 views, just, you know, just cause, and usually at least one or two comments. I'm like, hell yeah. Okay. People can repost your videos. Awesome. I'll post that same video on YouTube and it gets like 15 views. And then maybe a month or two later it gets, you know, more. And mind you, I guess more people are using YouTube than TikTok. But to me, there's something about the TikTok algorithm for me personally, again, that has worked very well. Like they know the audience I want to reach. And then also the promotion feature on TikTok is so easy to use and so friendly. Nothing seems confusing. It's so user friendly. And also the ads are not nearly as atrocious on TikTok. On TikTok, if I go to an F and ad pops up, wow, look at that. Skip. Oh, another ad? Skip. Oh my God. Skip. Whereas on YouTube, they're like, oh, you want to watch a fucking 20 second short? Here's a fucking 40 second ad. And on TikTok, at least as far as I'm aware, they're not putting, um, they're not putting ads on my shit while not giving me nothing. Whereas YouTube will put a bunch of ads on my top videos and I get no revenue from that. That's disgusting. And another YouTuber, I, I heard something because my wife watches, um, H3, H3. And I, I heard the guy, Ethan, say something like, you know, good, like, you know, I hate TikTok, like, get TikTok banned. And I'm like, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well, then you're just, you're just the same. You, it's like out of touch, big creators. It's like, how much have you actually tried to invest in TikTok? It's like, oh, wait, you don't have to because you have an audience. You've had an audience on YouTube for years. I mean, almost like, I feel like you could say a decade, literally. And so it's like, you don't really have to be on TikTok. You've got the YouTube fan base. And so it's like, they don't understand, you know. I, I want to believe that they understand, but it's like, they don't. I just hear, keep hearing like, oh, it's a brain rot. It's brain rot. And, you know, to me, I'm like, you know, you sound really, really cringe and really um, kind of just stupid, like, Oh, like, because I know plenty of people like I don't use TikTok because that's 
dude, that used to be me four year, you know, four years ago. I was like, I ref- I will never use TikTok because this is fucking bullshit. And then I got on it and I realized how much it helps. So many people from TikTok came to my YouTube and subscribed to see more content. My TikTok is kind of like the gateway for them to come to my YouTube, not the other way around. I've never really heard anybody from my YouTube say, oh my God, let me go check out his TikTok. No, it's, oh, I came from TikTok. Bam, I'm on YouTube. And I live stream to TikTok and YouTube at the same time. You know what gets me more traction? TikTok. When I live stream on TikTok, I mean, it's, I don't know how they do it, but I mean, people are joining in constantly and I'll have roughly about five to six viewers and, you know, people commenting and I've met good people on TikTok. They watch my live streams. I watch theirs. We talk. It's like, look at that on YouTube. That's literally, I don't think that's ever happened to me once. There's one guy on YouTube who I used to speak to, but I feel like we don't speak anymore. I mean, just through comments. Um, but there is a YouTuber I watched, I found him on TikTok and we talk on TikTok and you know, he said the same thing. He was like, yeah, um, YouTube, I mean, it's kind of plateaued out. Whereas on TikTok, I get much more traction and he does. I look on his TikTok, it's growing and growing. And so it's, it's tough for me when I hear these large creators say, Hey, you know, it's, it's brain raw. I hope TikTok gets banned. It's like, you're so out of touch. You're trying to act all humble and like, I'm just like you. It's like, you don't get it though. You really don't. I, I don't know. It was just something that's been irking me. I like TikTok. I don't give a shit if it's spyware at this point. I mean, our government's probably hacked into my webcam right now and spying on me. Who knows? You know, um, I strongly recommend as a starting creator, whatever you want to call it, TikTok will help you a shit ton. And there's just more of an audience and better algorithms there. I mean, even more than Instagram and anything. And so when I think of it being banned or, you know, bought by an American company, I'm like, ugh. you know, because I, I think about Facebook Mind you, Facebook, how many fucking times have they gotten in trouble for harvesting your data? And, um, like, I do, I, I hate Facebook. Every time I go, Facebook is worse than TikTok when it comes to my, um, like reels and stuff, Facebook reels, where I'm like, don't show me this, please, or I'll report something. And then they don't ever do anything. Um, every time I go on Facebook, I, I'm tempted to pull it up, but, I mean, it's just like, I mean, it's like animals killing animals. It's um, like, you know, police shooting people videos. And it'll be like, you know, very, very suggestive things. Uh, most Always, you know, usually women. And I'm like, okay, I don't look at any of those. And when they pop up, I do, please don't show me because I don't want to see that shit. And then they keep doing it. And I don't know about the TikTok shop. I mean, I've, I've, I know a few people who've used it. They didn't seem to have too much of a problem. Uh, Facebook Marketplace, um, like online shopping, sucks. I feel like Facebook should be sued. Um, I bought my PS3 from some dumbass in another state, and he didn't tell me that you know the controller is defective and the power button randomly turns on. So I contacted Facebook. That was two, three years ago. My ticket is still impending. And I kept messaging them like, fuck you, you're literally lying to people saying, you know, oh, you know, return guaranteed, refund guaranteed. No, they're literally lying. And so, whereas TikTok, I've contacted, contacted TikTok support before, and I didn't have to wait long, maybe less than an hour or an hour. And so it's just one of those things where I'm like, it's like there's this weird hate towards TikTok from people who haven't truly used it to its maximum potential. Like, I feel like I'm using it as much as I can. And so, I don't know. I'm pro, you know, TikTok for small creators. I wish large creators would really try it out a lot before saying it's just stupid, a stupid fucking app to ban. And, 
yeah, I guess that's going to be it. That's my rant. I just, it annoys me. And I really hope it doesn't get banned. And I really hope um, if it does get bought by an American company, I pray to God it stays the same. So we will see. That's just me on why TikTok is important for small creators. And I appreciate everyone listening to my 15-minute rant. So I didn't think it would go that long. But as always, I appreciate it. And today is Sunday. I'm going to try to live stream tonight, probably part two of Gears of War 5. But uh, I got to get back to cleaning and it's a busy, busy day. So we'll see. But hey, as always, seriously, I appreciate you watching on both YouTube and TikTok. So that's going to be it for me. I'm out.